This video is sponsored by Cassidy. Hi folks, Mike Rankin here with a quick tip for making cool corner effects in InDesign using anchored objects. And with this tip, you can attach any graphic to a text frame, so when you resize the frame, like I will here, by holding Option and dragging to resize from the center, you can see that the graphics that I've applied to all four corners always stick to the frame, no matter how it gets positioned or resized. So let's see how to do this. I'm going to switch over to my other file. And in this file, I just have the one text frame with the text in it, and I have these four graphics. Now, I created these graphics by finding a font that had some uh, interesting shapes in it. I typed these out, converted them to outlines, and then I transformed them so I had the four different versions for the four corners, and I filled them with a brown color. Now, to make these anchored objects, I'm going to start with this one on the top left, and I'm going to click and drag from this blue square here, but I'm also going to hold down the Option or Alt key to open the dialog box right when I release. So I'll hold Option or Alt, click and drag, and when I see the vertical bar right before the text in the text frame, I'll release, and the dialog box opens. And then it's just a matter of setting these anchored object options. So I want to set the reference point of the graphic to be the top left, and I want to align that to the top left of the text frame. But right now I don't see that as an option for the reference point. I only get these uh, three in the middle. And that's because it's an inline object right now. So it can only align to the line of text that it's anchored in. So we'll switch that to text frame. And now I have all nine reference points that I can align to. So I'll align to the top left. And now it's just a matter of setting these X and Y offset values. So I'll start by setting them both to 0, 0. So the top left of the graphic is exactly at the top left of the text frame. But in this case, I want it to stick out a little bit at the top and a little bit on the left. So I'm going to change these uh, values. I'll start by increasing the X offset to move it to the left six points. And I'm going to decrease the Y offset value by six points to bump it up, like so. And click OK. Now at this point, I want to save this as an object style to record those anchored object options and the fill color as well. So I'll open my Object Styles panel from Window, Styles, Object Styles. And with the graphic selected, I'm going to hold Option or Alt and click the New Object Style button. I'll call this Top Left. And I'll just scroll down and check on my anchored object options. And you can see the object style has recorded all those options that I set up uh, in the dialog box. And very important, I also want to go back to General and make sure Apply to Selection is turned on. So in fact, the style is applied to this first anchored graphic that I made. I'll click OK. And now let's make the top right. So I'll drag from the blue square and release before the text. And I want to base the object style for the top right on the object style for the top left, so they have a relationship. So I'll first apply the top left object style to this graphic. Then I'll hold Option or Alt and click New. I'll call this top right. And I'll go down to Anchored Object Options. I'll set the reference point to the top right of the graphic and the frame. And in this case, both the X and Y offset values already work, so I don't even have to make a change here. So I'll click OK. And now let's make the bottom left in the same way. So I'll drag this graphic in and release. I'll apply the top left object style. Hold Option or Alt and click New. And this is going to be bottom left. And let's set the anchored object options so the bottom left of the graphic goes to the bottom left of the text frame. And the X offset is good, but we need to change the Y offset to nudge that down. So I'll increase the Y offset value to six points and click OK. And we'll do the bottom right in the same manner. Drag it in, apply the top left object style, then hold Option or Alt, create a new object style, we'll call it bottom right. and set those anchored object options 
So the reference point of the graphic is set to the bottom right, and so is the text frame. And the X offset is good, and the Y offset we just need to increase again to six points. And click OK. And now we've created anchor graphics on all four corners that will move along with the frame as the frame is resized or moved around uh, in your layout. And again, because we use those object styles, we benefit from the efficiency of being able to make a change in one place and have it take effect everywhere. So if I go back to object styles, I can edit this top left style that we based the others on. And for example, I could make a change to the fill color. I could say, hey, make these gray instead of brown, and they all change. Or I could go back to brown and maybe add some fun transparency effects. Like I could add a little drop shadow here, make it lighter and closer. I'll add two points for both the distance and the size. And let's also just add a little bevel and emboss just for fun. So I'll add an inner bevel here. We'll make it pretty small, about two points. And click OK. And you can see all four corners now take on uh, those transparency effects. So that's my tip for making cool corner effects in InDesign with anchored objects. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.